So, Gymshop is a very successful clothing company out of the UK. They've been successful for a lot of reasons. If you look at how big they are right now at the Arnold Expo, um, at the Olympia, their booth, huge. They have a lot of people who market for them or sponsored athletes, whatever you'd like to call it. Uh, their clothing looks awesome from what I hear. It fits great. So there's, there's nothing but good things to say about this company. But let's talk about this. How much is Gymshark spending on their apparel? All right, and what kind of money might they be making off of this apparel? So let's take a look at this. I've done business before with uh, somebody from China who, at that point in time when I did business with them in 2013, stated that they are the main supplier of clothing for Gymshark. All right, let me go ahead and pull up an email from him. So here we are when we were doing our, 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 our dealings, our, our business. He was sending me uh, samples. Uh, I blanked out a few a few things here. When it comes to the overall quantity, he was shipping them. But um, as you can see, he clearly states that he works with Gymshark. All right. So that tells us this. Gymshark orders their apparel from China. They order it from China for a very cheap cost. So let's go to this person here, this manufacturer. Let's go to their website, uh, or the distributor site off of Alibaba. So we go to Alibaba.com, and let's go ahead and look for, uh, let's put in the stringers, because that's what they refer to them as. So here he is, number one, right here. So we'll pull up his his factory distributor site here. Okay, it appears they were established 2004. They have 51 to 100 employees, and their total revenue is 1 to 2.5 million a year. Let's go ahead and find their products. All right, let's go ahead and look at the t-shirts, and let's see if we can find anything familiar. What you'll see here is you'll see a lot of things that look familiar. You might see them being sold to Forever 21 if they're women's apparel, through uh, Lululemon, through maybe other people who have their gym apparel shipped from out of, out of country. All right, we're going to take a look and see if we can find anything that looks familiar here that we'll be able to use as a fantastic example. And here we have it right here. Fantastic. So everyone knows what this looks like. That's Gymshark. All right, we know because we've seen Matt Ogus wear it. We've seen a lot of other people wear clothing like this, the Hodge Twins. Again, they have a lot of people who are sponsored athletes who help promote them. Let's go ahead and click on this and go to this one garment here. All right, so we're looking at between the six to nine dollars a piece and that is a minimum order quantity or MOQ of 300 pieces all right now they always give you uh, the lower end of the price if you're buying more I suspect that this six to nine dollars a piece is actually a little bit lower if you're buying the quantity that somebody like Gymshark would buy all right so let's go ahead and go with this let's go ahead and assume the Gymshark is going to buy this vest here, this shirt. We'll just say uh, a thousand pieces of them. All right, and let's go ahead and use this one article of clothing to encompass multiple articles of clothing. We just want to kind of find an average. So pre pretend we'll just say they, they bought a thousand pieces of, of clothing or of, of shirts, different types of shirts from this manufacturer. All right, and they were able to negotiate the lower end of the price. All right, so we're talking about six dollars. Okay, clearly you do the math: six times three hundred, we're looking at eighteen hundred dollars. One thousand eight hundred dollars. We're going to add on about two hundred dollars for shipping. All right, so we're looking at two thousand dollars. All right, so let's go ahead and do the math on what they're going to go ahead and sell that for. So let's see if I can find here Gem Sharks Company. Here we go. Jim Shark. Let's find their stuff. No, thank you. I've actually never worn anything from Jim Shark. It looks very comfortable. Um, I have nothing but good things to say about them. Again, I'm using them as an example because I've dealt with their distributor and I'm able to uh, help people understand a little bit more of the cost associated with buying apparel. This right here looks like the same exact shirt, just different color variant and uh, placement of the, the logo itself. Let's take a look. Uh, 
uh, what the back of this looks like and see if we can confirm. Okay, Gymshark apparently doesn't want me to have a back picture. I don't know why they would do that. That's very interesting. But we're going to assume, because of the look here, that this is the same article of clothing. For $19.99 in uh, not U.S. dollars. So let's go ahead and convert that to U.S. dollars. Uh, 19 UK. What does UK use for dollars? Okay, $30. Jesus. Okay, so this is a perfect example of a very high percentage of profit. All right, so we're looking at about $30 here. $30 for this shirt. All right, we found out over here they paid about $6 for that shirt. And again, I suspect it's lower, but we're going to give them the benefit of the doubt. All right, so let's do some simple math here. So if we're looking at $30 divided by, we'll just say 6, again, we're looking at 5. So we're looking at about 500% profit. Now, I wanted it to be a little bit more mathematically complicated than that, but we'll settle with this here. 500% profit on this right here. All right, so let's go ahead and say they bought 1,000 units of multiple articles of clothing. But we're going to say they're all the same price here, so they're making the same percentage of profit. All right, they're investing. Again, we rounded up to about $2,000, all right, because it was about 1800 for the 6 times 300 and then 200 for shipping. They're going to be paying more for shipping if they're buying multiple, um, but just for the actual price per unit, let's just go ahead and look at it this way. Okay, so they have 1,000 pieces that they bought for, of course, nice and simple, easy math, six, that's $6,000, all right, but they had that same 1,000 units, and we're going to say they sold it for 30 per unit, we're looking at $30,000, so we're going to subtract the $6,000 so you guys have a visual, and they made $24,000, all right, off of selling 1,000 units for this price here. So the percentage of profit is huge for a company like Gymshark. This is just one article of clothing example uh, based on very, very basic information that we have given on the website. Again, I suspect the pricing per unit is going to be lower because they supply so much to them uh, or other companies like them. But this is just an idea of what Gymshark's making on sales. And once you start looking at how much a company is profiting compared to how much they're spending on, we'll just say their inventory being uh, articles of clothing here, it becomes very disheartening to buy that company's apparel. For instance, I don't buy Lululemon's apparel very much, if at all, anymore, because I've seen the same stuff on websites like this for the same unit price. But then you go to the store and you're paying 80 to $100 for that same shirt with very little alteration done to it. You're just getting it shipped from China and then reselling it. All right, so I, I have nothing but good things to say about companies like Gymshark. So this is not uh, somebody who is trying to attack them uh, or companies like them because a lot of people who make apparel go this route and this is what they're spending. So expect them to make a profit along this line. Right. If they're not and they're having their stuff shipped and made in, in the U.S., they're making a much smaller percentage of profit overall. And so smart companies like Gymshark are going to go this route when it comes to making money. I hope this helps you guys to give you an idea of apparel sales and what kind of money is out there to be made. Thanks.